Hey everyone, this is Technix. We're back with some more gameplay of uh, Cradle on Steam. And um, I've discovered a couple things. Uh, one being that uh, apparently, and I did not know this until I went to resume my game, that uh, there's no save. So it's checkpoints. And because I had quit before the last checkpoint, or this next checkpoint, uh, which is feeding on gods. Um, I lost everything, so um, I'm kind of starting over. Um, but I've I've did find a couple things. One is that uh, um, this uh, you can pick up the stick. I missed it before the little pop up that says "Look for something to knock stuff down." So um, I am uh, I found a stick, or a couple sticks, um, and I am now picking up these berries. Um, let's see, grab another one. And then I also found the root that I was looking for. Uh, let's see, there's another one. Which just happened to be... Uh, outside on the right of the hut. Oops. Um, when you come out... At I guess it was like the one place I didn't look. Actually, I kind of looked there. Um, I looked at the, uh, the, damn it, at the, um, the clothesline. And that's actually hanging on the clothesline because it's dried root. Um, so let's see if we can get, there we go, there's a third. So, I'm going to head back. So I'm guessing that then these playthroughs are going to be have to be to the checkpoints. Um, so let me uh, let me get back through this one. Get get these uh, things done. So here is the route. Let's see, I remember I've seen a knife around here somewhere. Where to go? There it is. So I'm going to cut some. Oops, I just threw that. Went to drop it. And still going on the floor. Come on now. You know, I'm wondering if I can. Can I drop these in there? Nope, not without cutting it first. Oh, so just there we go. I did just need. Oh, okay. Guess I did just need two of them. Alright. Well, whatever. Um, let's see. I'm guessing there's a teacup. I'm looking for something to grind this in, so I'm assuming it's gonna be like a mortar and pestle. Put, here, I'm gonna try this. I don't think this is gonna work, but. Jeez. Oh. I love throwing stuff around. Um, mortar and pestle, probably.
Oh, look, it's a large, it's a, it's, oh, there, there, there. There's a big pan, and then there's a mortar and pestle behind. Look at that. Mortar and pestle. All right. So I am going to see if we can put this down here without dropping it. Hey. Let's see if I can just okay, let's see if I can just do this then. There we go. I think that's what I'm looking for. Alright. Salt and the water will turn orange. Return the salt jar to its place. Right of the pepper. Salt and pepper, so... I'm guessing that's salt. I'm hoping that's... Huh. I might just be putting a whole bunch of... There we go. And then return it to... Well... It says to return it here, but it's really hard to like... Oh wait, maybe I can throw it in there. This is turning orange. You can sell. I'm hoping that this is right when it closes. Said orange. Looks orange. It doesn't actually say what it is. I'm wondering if this is like... That's, that's red. I might have to start this over. That's orange. We'll see, that's orange. There we go. New task added. Hey, look. So it's orange and... Oh, it looks like it's doing something. So, uh... Guts will show up as soon as he smells the food. You can sell all the stuff if you like. Oh, okay. Well, up oh, there. That must be on guts. Holy. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I know what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to take this and put it in the little ring. Wow, that's a big bird.
Hey, look, there's the game save. He needs his fit. Oh, and I know exactly where it is. Because that's the thing that I picked up and I didn't know what it was. It is. I think this is it. Let's see if I can. Vest. Huh. Uh, this is the new one. Hey, new game save. Wow, that's cool. Two zero five oh uh two zero five three. I'm betting that's combination to something. Two zero five three. Uh what oh here wait, is this? Nope. Hmm. Flower photocop. Oh, photocopier, gotcha. Zero. Put us off again. So something has Key to valuable information. Find an application for this number. Oh, wait. Hey, hey there we go. Let's see, I've got a journal now. Thanks, Tabaha. My name is Anabish. Anabish? Uh, Anabish. I've always loved. Uh, I've always lived here because I can't go anywhere else. Uh, Grandpa Batjin says a lot of people used to live around here, but they all died when the dome blew up. The area has been deserted ever since, aside from myself, Batjin, and Ongots. Ongots has a very bold, powerful claws. He obeyed my father and helped him hunt hares. I don't remember my parents. They died in the explosion as well. Uh, when the wind picks up, it gets pretty chilly. You can find refuge from it, but not for long. You can't last long without light. That's why I've crafted this transparent layered vest. Like in that program about greenhouses, it keeps ongots, ongots warm it keeps on God's warm during the day, and when the night chill arrives, it, I put him into another warm vest. Okay, cool. I collect and digitalize flowers. I look for the prettiest ones and make photocop phytocopies of them. 
Tabaha then takes them into town and sells them. The Indians keep him afloat while Grandpa and I buy cheese. Oh my lord. Okay, uh, we've got a new genometer. It measures everything flowers, insects, people. It, it clogged Batjen at 47 and the tree by the gate at 24. Even the stool got measured, though that took a little longer. When we aimed at Ongots or myself, it still shows the same old error. Grandpa says it's all the providence. It's all providence. Maybe he's right. I have this dream sometimes. I'm in a strange city. The day is waning. Folks are walking in the distance. There's somebody beside me, but I don't see who. The dream is fleeting, always leaving me with strange sensation, like I'm supposed to pass something to somebody, but I can never re remember what or to whom. I feel some kind of mix of anxiety and chagrin, and when it makes me want to go there, no, it makes me want to go there to that town. Jeez. Let's see. Uh, Grandpa Batchin has died. He wanted to do a transfer after losing his sight and mobility. Tabaha even brought him the equipment, but Grandpa died in his sleep. He was buried at the spot he had requested. Tomorrow marks the four-year anniversary of Gran Grandpa's funeral, which means that I'm already 23. Everything is still the same. I tried leaving again, but no dice. I simply lose consciousness, like before. I want to find that town for my dream. Perhaps I'll risk risk it and do a transfer. Grandpa's got no use for his helmet these days, but I might. If I get lucky, I'll wake up in a new body in Ulaanbaatar. Ulaanbaatar. Uh, too bad the genometer won't show show me my or show my number. I know how dangerous it is. Uh, when I look up at the poster above over my bed, for some reason, I remember my toys. When I was a kid, maybe five or so, I had a favorite toy, an odd little space an odd little space case. Angus had found it somewhere and and brought it to me. Then I saw dark swirls in the field got scared and stashed the toys away for some reason. And to make sure I didn't forget the hiding place, I came up with a clue. Come out of the yurt and fly straight as a crow. On a rock with a snag, look for an arrow. A sorrowful tree will show you the way. A box in the sand will a mystery betray. But now I can't find it. Okay, well, there's a game save. Um, I am going to cut it now because we're at time, and then um, I'll be back um, uh, uh, to continue. So um, I hope you like in the game. Uh, the excuse me, it's a little early in the morning. Hoping you like the gameplay. Um, you know, like if you like, subscribe, and uh, I will keep going. Thanks.